Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I'm here with a three-game series against the Twins. We have only three games, so I'm going to put all three games up in one shot um, in this video. So, we'll get right to it since we got a lot of games to relatively, you know, as compared to two games, we have three. Um, and we are, we have skipped ahead in the schedule a little bit. Um, so let me actually, let me show you that first. Um, league stats. So here's where we are. We're playing the Twins in a three-game series, and we are two games behind them. So if we sweep them, we're a game in front, but I'm not really planning on sweeping the Twins, frankly. No one in their right mind would bet against the Chicago White Sox. Um, but we're doing well. We're doing well. We're 27 and 17. Uh, we're four games ahead of Cleveland and uh, a lot of games, eight and a half ahead of Kansas City and, a, you know, almost a season ahead of Detroit. So, um, so there's the standings, um, at least as far as where we're concerned is what we're only look fo focusing on right now. And we are the uh, fourth best team in the American League. Well, fifth. Yeah, fifth. Fifth best team in the American League. So you can't argue with that. So that's where we are coming into the twin series. So let's go back to that um, and play day. And we will decrease the sound. Um, the Twins will be the computer. So we're at home against the Twins again. Because you remember, we've only played, I think we've only played the Twins once, but maybe, maybe twice. But even if we played them twice, we played them at home in both series. And, um, but I think we've only played them in one series so far, and that was at home. So we still haven't played them in Minneapolis yet, and aren't going to do that here either. So we'll get on with the game. And, uh, Gonzalez pitching to Kepler. We got Gio on the mound. Kepler's out, Polanco up. There's a pop out. Two down quickly, that's a good sign. In game one. And Donaldson walks. That brings up Nelson Cruz, and he hits into a ground ball. And not a double play, because there was already two outs. So Tim Anderson, and we're facing Odorizzi today, and he gets out. Couldn't, he couldn't swing the single through there. Lewis Robert. I'm going to swing away with Robert. And he's going to get a double. Nice. We've got Robert on second with one down and Moncada up. And he's going to get a single and knock him in. Moncada at first, only one out, and Canard Stone up, and he gets a single. And we're probably, yes, we are going to hold the runners. Abreu up at the plate, and he strikes out. So there's two down. Two runners on. Grandall up, and he walks. And that loads him up for Jimenez. And he strikes out. So despite a lot of runners on base that inning, we only got one run. And Rosario leads off with a double. That brings up Mitch Garver. And he's going to hit a ground ball to the third. That's Moncada over there. And 
And that is, yeah, that was an out. So Arias is up at the plate, and he hits a ground ball to first. That'll be two down. With Rosario moving to third and two down, and Sano up. Another ground ball to Moncada. He's getting tested. And he is out. So we got out of that unscathed. We go to the bottom of the second. Mazzara up at the plate. And he's out. Brings up Lurie Garcia. And he's going to hit a fly ball to left. And Rosario's out there. I'm liking that. He's a four. But he was out. And so that brings up Tim Anderson. And he's out. So we maintain the slim one nothing lead going to the top of the third. Jake Cave up and he singles. That brings up Max Kepler, who's going to line out to first base. Seems like a lot of these twins are left handed batters, and there's nothing they can do about it. So that would give us a slight advantage with a lefty on the mound. And there's a pop out by Blanco for two down. And Donaldson's up, and he hits a ground ball right between us. Two home runs, two potential home runs. Lewis Robert up, and he'll swing away. Man, he's out. Moncada up. He strikes out. And that brings up Ben Canarsi on him. And he is going to be out. So one nothing, top of the, the uh, fourth with Nelson Cruz up, and he hits a ground ball to second base. And there's an out. Nice. Rosario up. He's out, and that brings up Garver. And that's going to be a ground ball third base A. Abreu up at the plate to lead off for us in the bottom of the fourth. And he gets a single. Grandall up. He walked last time, and now he hits a ground ball to second base, and that's a race. And they got him. But Abreu moved to second, so now we've got Abreu at second with one out. And that's going to be a single that probably knocks in a run with Jimenez. And it does. So now we have a 2 nothing lead. One out. Jimenez at first. Mazzara up. And he's going to hit a home run. So now we got a big lead. Nice. I like this. I could settle in for this. Lurie Garcia is up. And he's going to single. That brings up Tim Anderson. And he hits a fly ball to left. So that's going to be the second out of this half inning. And Lewis Robert up and singling. Um, I'm going to send the runner. So we got Moncada up. And he's going to hit a ground ball back to the pitcher. Probably be an out, and it is. But we have a 4 nothing lead now. So Arias is up, and he hits a triple. That brings up just a no. Not going to bring the infield in because we're up 4 nothing. Jake Cave, he walks, and now that sets up a double play. It's almost, I mean, I was considering walking him anyway, so. And then he strikes out Kepler, so now they've got runners at the corners and two down. And still no run across. And that is going to be a ground ball to Tim Anderson, which he will hopefully play. But no, it gets through for a base hit. And we're going to leave the tired Gonzalez out there. And uh, 
uh, it paid off. He got out of the inning. And so now at least he can get credit for the win. But uh, we have to uh, stay ahead for that to happen. Fly ball to Rosario, who is a four. And this is going to be the second play he's probably going to make. And Abreu is up. And he's out. And that brings up Grandall. And Grandall hits a single. So Jimenez is up with Grandall on and two out. And that's going to be a... Oh, no. It's not going to be a single. And... Grandall won't advance the extra base either. So now we got Mar Mazzara up. He did hit a home run, though, but he's not going to do that here. He's going to fly out. Still, we maintain a 4-1 to lead. Um, I am going to go get... Um, I don't know. Let's start off. Let's start the inning with him. No, that was a bad idea. All right, now I am going to go get it. And we're going to bring in Marshall. Evan Marshall coming in to pitch to Rosario with a man at first and nobody out. And that's going to be a ground ball to second. That moves Cruz to second with Garber up. And Garber's going to ground out. And that brings up Reyes. And Reyes is going to hit a ground ball at Tim Anderson. And he makes the play. So we maintain the 4-1 to one lead. Going to the bottom of the sixth. And Garcia at the plate. And he will ground out. These are important games, so I'm going to do everything I can to try to win them. Single for Tim Anderson. Lewis Robert. It's a ground ball. Second, that's Arias. He's a three. Maybe he can let it through. He can. And now Odorizzi is tired. We have runners at the corners with one out. Moncada up. And they're letting the tired Odorizzi pitch to Moncada. And he had rips a single. We are going to hold the runners, though. So we now we have a five to one lead. And Encarnacion up. And they are now they're going to bring it in a reliever and that's going to be Littell and that's a ground ball to second and that's Arias and uh, they didn't get the double play so there's two down and a brave up with runners at the corners and that's going to be a ground ball But we have a 5-1 to one lead, and Evan Marshall pitching here in his second inning of work walks Sano to lead off the inning. Jay Cave up. Jay Cave is going to hit a fly ball to center field for the first out of the inning. That brings up Max Kepler, and he strikes out. And now Polanco is up, and he hits a fly ball to right. That's Mazzara. I didn't put the defensive replacement in, but it may not matter. It looks like he's going to make the play, and he does. So we have Grandall up, and he'll swing away. I mean, now at this point, it's just a matter of us hanging on and not allowing too many runs. And that's going to be a fly ball for Jimenez instead of the home run. And now Mazzara is up. And he'll strike out. And so now I do have changes to make. I take out Marshall and um, Mazzara. Mazzara will be replaced by Angle in right field. And I will bring in Jace Fry for Marshall. Donaldson up, and he's hitting a home run. So Jace Fry gets greeted by a Donaldson Jack. 
And the score is now three, five to one, five to two, five to two with Cruz up. And he's going to rip a single. That brings up Rosario. And Rosario hits the only thing in the column. Well, not the only thing, but. Yeah. Garber is up and he walks. Oh, man. All right, I got to go get something else. This was uh, horrible. All right. Uh, we're going to get in C Shack. It's been a while since he's pitched. And we really have to stop this right here. There's the line out. That's good. Sano is up. And he walks, though. So now it's 5 3. Cave is up and he strikes out. And Kepler is up. And he hits a grand slam. Unreal. Hey, what happened? So now it is seven to five. And Polanco hits a single. And of course, Cishek is tired. I've had two pitchers get tired in the same inning. You really don't want that to happen generally. Cruz is up with two on and two out. And of course, that's going to be a single level asterisk because he's tired. I mean, at this point, we've lost the game, so. It's 8 to 5. And, uh, yeah. Not good. We had this game, I mean, it was under control, and then the bullpen let us down. Strikeout for Anderson makes it two outs here in the bottom of the eight. And Lewis Roberts up. He's hit by pitch and injured. He can continue in the game, though. And then that's going to be an out. So we go to the top of the ninth. I'm just going to let a tired c shack pitch it. One down, and Reyes up. He hits a ground ball. And Sano is up, and he hits a ground ball to the second. And he beats it out, so Cave is up, and Cave strikes out. So we have to have three runs right here, right? Eight to five, yeah, we got to have three runs. And there's a walk. So that's not a bad start. Abreu is up. And Abreu is not. He's going to hit it into a double play. So that's, that pretty much does it. And Grandall's up. And he's out. For the final out of the game. Nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. So we lose that key game, eight to five. And now we have to win the next two games just to um, just to close one game closer to to, to uh, Minnesota. And I am going to. Uh, Demote Cishek because he just pitched two innings and got tired, so he's going to be useless this game anyway. Maybe even Fry, too. And bring up Ruiz. And, um... Benuelos. So...
So that's where we are um, going into game two. All right, so let's get back into this. Play day. Hopefully we can at least, at least win one of these last two. I mean, the Twins are a good team, so... All right, we got Keuchel going. I, you know, we have generally got to like that. Um, yeah. So we will go with that. Kepler is leading off for the Twins, and he strikes out. Polanco is up, and he is going to be out. Donaldson is up, and he's going to fly out to center, hopefully. Looks like he will. So, uh, they go one, two, three quickly there, and then Tim Anderson leads off against Pineda, who is pitching against us here, and he's going to rip him a double. That brings up Lewis Robert. He flies out. But Anderson makes it to third, so there is Johan Moncada up, and he is going to fly to center, and that's Buxton, who's a one. But that got the run home, so we have a one nothing lead again in this game. And uh, looks like Encarnacion is going to be out, and so we go to the top of the second ahead one nothing yet again. But now Nelson Cruz ties the game. That brings up Rosario, and he strikes out. So there's one down. Mitch Garver is up, and he's going to fly out. And that brings up Arreus. And Arreus is going to be out. So it's tied at one, going to the bottom of the second, and Abreu up. And he strikes out. Randall is up. That's going to be a triple one or a single. So we got Grandall aboard with Jimenez up. And he strikes out. So there's two down and Mazzara at the plate. And he is maybe going to hit a home run unless they rob him. All right, home run, Mazzara. We take a three to one lead. That brings up Lurie Garcia with the strikeout. So we again have a nice lead early in the game as we did last game, but it didn't work there. Buxton's up with one down and he hits the ball to Grand Dahl. And that's an out. And there's two down, and Kepler up, and he pops out. So, we're out of that inning. If the last game taught us anything, it taught us that we really have got to lay the runs on here. Thick. Got to get a lot of runs. Lewis Robert is up. He'll swing away. And he's going to get a single. Yeah, I'm going to try to steal. And he's safe. So one out, Moncada, or, uh, Robert at second, and Moncada up. And he hits a two-run home run. 
So again, we're piling the runs on, but we got to hope that our bullpen doesn't get involved in this game. Because we have a five nothing or a five to one lead now. And there's a strikeout for an in Canarsie down that brings us to two down, and that brings up a brave. And Abreu is out. So Polanco up top of the fourth. There's a walk. Keiko walks Polanco to lead off the inning, and Donaldson strikes out. Good. Cruz is up, and he walks. Before the Twins got Donaldson, I thought that the White Sox and the Twins were fairly evenly matched, and that the White Sox had as much of a chance to win the division in um, in a regular baseball season, which we are not going to get, as, as the Twins had. But then when they got Donaldson, I think that put them a little bit ahead of the curve. Got a walk for Grandall. Jimenez is up, and he singles. So there are no outs and two runners on. Rosario at the plate, and he hits a fly ball to the left. And that's Rosario, who's a four, and that's going to drop, it looks like. Yeah, I mean, we've scored in every inning so far, so this, this looks good. And there's a single for Garcia. So he adds on to it. Tim Anderson up. He's going to hit a first uh, ground ball to first, which is going to move the runners to second and third. So runners at second and third with one away, and Robert up. And he hits a fly ball to left, and that's a four. Rosario, and it looks like it's going to drop again. Yes, he dropped it. Okay. So he got there, but he dropped it. And now they're going to take out Benini. Probably. No, they don't. They leave him in for one batter. And Moncada hits a pop out. Um, and then that's going to be a home run for Encarnacion. So I think we don't have to worry now. In fact, if we have to bring in relief, we can bring in one of the bad guys that I had brought up, Benuelos or uh, or Ruiz, because it's like 11 to 1 now. So Abreu is up. They do bring in a reliever, and that's Shasin. And Abreu is swinging away, and he's out, but... Keigel. And another thing is that even when Keigel gets tired, I can keep him out there because the team is close enough to where a tired Keigel couldn't pitch. Arreyes is up and he's out. So there's two down here quickly in the fifth. And Sano up. And he strikes out. So we go to the bottom of the fifth. Again, I had something like 11 to 1. Strikeout for Grandall. Jimenez up. And he strikes out. And Mazzara up. I won't even put in a defensive replacement for Mazzara because, again, the lead is way too big to call for defensive replacements to start coming in. Buxton is up, and that's going to be a fly out to center, hopefully. Robert will play it, but maybe not. It might be over his head. But he got it, so it's one out, and Kepler up, and Kepler's going to pop out. And that brings up Polanco, and Polanco strikes out. Lurie Garcia is up, up bottom of the sixth, and he's going to fly out. Brings up Tim Anderson. He's going to fly to the center. And that 
that brings up Luis Robert. And he walks. And he'll try to steal. And he does. And Moncada's up. Moncada hits a fly ball for the third out. So we go to the top of the seventh, and uh, that was our only our second zero inning of the game. Donaldson strikes out. Cruz is up. He's going to hit a ground ball. And that brings up Rosario. And Rosario is out. So they get nothing in the seventh, and uh, Encarnacion is going to swing away. And he's going to hit a home run, very likely. Yep. So I'm going to take Keiko out after uh, when we go back to the field and put in one of the not very good relief pitchers that I brought up. Brayu strikes out, and Grandall is up. One out. And now two down, and Jimenez is up. He's hit by a pitch. And that brings up Mazzara. And he's out. So let's go to the bullpen. Let's bring in Ruiz, who has a good 964 earned run average for us, but I'm not worried about it with the lead that we've got. And uh, let's put in Delmonico in left field for Jimenez just so that he doesn't get injured. And let's take it, take it away. That's going to be an out for Garver. Arreus is up. That's going to be a strikeout. And that brings up Sano. And he walks. And that brings up Byron Buxton, and he's going to hit a fly ball. And be out. We go to the bottom of the eighth, Glory Garcia. Up. And he's out. Lines out. Tim Anderson up. He's going to single. So he's two for five for the day on the day. Lewis Robert up. And he is going to hit a fly ball. Thought maybe that would be another home run, but it isn't. And Moncada at the plate, and he is going to hit a fly ball here out of the eighth. And now we go to the top of the ninth, and, uh, you know, Minnesota needs like 11 or 12 runs, which I'm thinking even Ruiz isn't going to give up. They do hit a fly ball Delmonico's way, which is going to get him a nice double, probably. And then uh, Polanco is up. It's a catcher card, and Grandall might make the play. He does. One down, Donaldson up, and he walks. Ruiz is tired, but he's going to keep pitching. He walks and loads the bases. Rosario is up, and he hits a grand salami. So now what's the score? 4, 5 to 2, 4, 5, 11, 12. 12 to 5. And Garber's up. And he is going to hit a ground ball at Anderson. Hopefully play, but maybe not. He doesn't. Plays it into a single. And so Arreus is up and he singles. So this is a little disconcerting, although we still do have a huge lead. Uh, but Sano cranks a double. 
So now it's like 12 to 6. Or 12, yeah, 12 to 6. Buxton's up, and he is going to get a line out. So there's two jabs. And that brings up Kepler. And Kepler will fly out, and I was right. He didn't give up the tying run, which is good. What's not good is that for, from Ruiz's point of view, he's terrible on the year. That makes his ERA on the year 1191, as he gave up five earned runs in two innings. But the important thing is that we win the game, and now we have a chance to move within one game of the Twins. So... Let's get into that game. Giolito pitching for us, so I like that. Um, let's, you know, what's his name? The catcher there, uh, Grandall, has been playing a lot lately, so let's put McCann in for him. And Madrigal in at second base. For Garcia. And now I'm happy with the alignment. And with Giolito on the mound, you got to think we'll win this game and then we'll cut what was a two game lead for the Twins to one by winning. There's a walk, though, leadoff walk by Kepler. Polanco up. And he is going to hit a potential fly ball. But We'll see. Can't get it, so it's 2 0. So they're ahead 2 0. And then he walks Donaldson. Of course, this has to happen when your ace is on the mound. This is how it always plays out. Can't make the play. So, uh, Garber's still up, and uh, that's a ground ball to the pitcher. Double play, so, uh, but the Twins got two runs there, so not good. And we're going up against Rios. Pretty good. <clears throat> Lewis Robert is up. Swings away. Home run, Lewis Robert. My voice is going. You might have to just sit and watch without me commentating. Moncada's up, and we're going to swing away with him. And he is going to hit a home run and tie the game. Nice. So the game is tied. And uh, Encarnacion is up, and he flies out. And there's going to be a single for Abreu. Nice. Keeps the inning alive. And McCann up. And McCann is going to keep the inning alive, too. Ripping a single. And Jimenez up at the plate. And he gets out. Not so lucky. But we did tie the game. So at least that gives Giolito a new lease on life. Sano is up, and he strikes out. And that brings up Buxton. And Buxton is going to pop out to the catcher, hopefully. And he does. And Mazar is up at the plate. And he's out. Madrigal is up, and he walks. Tim Anderson up, and he flies out. So we have two down, and uh, Madrigal at first with Robert up at the plate, and he strikes out. 
So we go to the top of the third. Gonzalez up. Marvelous Marwin Gonzalez strikes out, and Kepler is up. And he hits a home run. So now the Twins have a 3 2 lead. Polanco up, and he strikes out. And now Donaldson at the plate, and he flies to center where Lewis Robert is patrolling and will probably make the play. So we go to the bottom of the third. Now we're down three to two. But we lead off with a single by Moncada. And Canarciona, and he pops out. Abreu is up at the plate, and he strikes out for the second out. And McCann out. And McCann strikes out. Cruz leading off against Giolito with a single here in the top of the fourth. Garber is up. It's a fly ball to right, and Mazzara is not a good fielder, but may make that play. Let's see. No, it falls in front of him. Runners at the corners, Rosario, and he strikes out. That brings up Sano who walks to load up the bases, probably for, oh, for Buxton. We can get him out. We do, but he knocks in a run. And now Marvelous Marwin is up, and he's going to hit a fly to left. And, of course, we have a bad fielder out there, too. But that was an out, so. The Twins now have a fortitude lead. And we have Jimenez leading off with an out here in the bottom of the fourth. Mazzara up. Mazzara is going to hit a double. That brings up Madrigal, who strikes out. And Tim Anderson, who will maybe hit a home run, unless they rob it. Can't get it, so hey, we tied the game. So we give Giolito his second lease on life, as Robert gets out in the inning. But we go to the top of the fifth in a tie game at four. And he leads off with uh, pitching to Kepler and getting him to ground second for an out. Ground ball to first for Polanco. And Donaldson up. And he's going to be out. So we go to the bottom of the fifth. 4-4 four, four game. Not exactly the pitcher's duel you would have thought, but, you know. Triple one to four, but that's going to be a single for Moncada, who's three for three on the day. And Canarcion up, and he hits a ground ball to first. That's Sano, who is not a good fielder. And, uh, well, yeah, he throws the ball away. So now we got runners at second and third. No outs and Abreu up. And Abreu's going to hit a double and knock in two runs, so that gives us a two-run lead. I'll take it. McCann up at the plate, and he hits a ground ball to short. That's Polanco, and he's a two. I'm going to try to advance and see if they try to play it. No, they didn't, but, you know, one out, and now Abreu's only 90 feet away with Jimenez up at the plate. And they had the ground ball, the, the infield in. 
so he's out and nobody scores. But we hit a fly ball instead of the home run. Really needed that home run against this Twins team. But we do have a 6-4 lead, so Cruz is up to lead off against Giolito with a double. And Gar Garver's up, and he strikes out. Rosario is up, and he pops out. And that brings up Sano, and he strikes out. So Madrigal leading off here in the bottom of the sixth. We have a two nothing or a two run lead, six to four, and Madrigal's out. Tim Anderson is up and he hits a ground ball to short, and that's going to be Polanco will probably make the play. No, he makes some error. Nice. And with a, an eighty percent chance, we're going to try to steal with a dude, and he makes it. So, Anderson on second, one out, Robert up. And he singles, and that might score Anderson, you can see. No, it's not. 55%, I'm not risking it. Moncada's up at the plate, and he hits fly ball B, and that actually scores the run. So, it was probably smart to hold Tim Anderson up there. And that's going to be uh, get by the catcher and move Robert to second. And Encarnacion up at the plate, and he strikes out. But we did get another run, so we have a seven to four lead. With Buxton up at the plate, and he strikes out. Of course, this game I'm not going to play around with bad relief, so we're going to let Giolito go as long as he can go. Ground ball to the second for Marwin Gonzalez. So that's two down here in the seventh for the Minnesota Twins. And a ground ball to Tim Anderson. And he's out. So we go to the bottom of the seventh, still with our two-run two lead. And uh, Abreu up the plate. And he's out. Flies out to Kepler. McCann is up. McCann strikes out. And that brings up Jimenez. And he's going to hit a single. Nice. Nice piece of work there. Mazzara up. And Mazzara is going to ground out and in the inning. And I am going to at least make a defensive replacement and bring Engel in for Mazzara. But we will keep Giolito out there, like I said, as long as he can pitch. Donaldson up, and there's a walk. Nelly Cruz, Nelly Cruz walks. Garber up. Garber hits a ground ball to first with one out, so that's going to be two outs. And that brings up Rosario. And he is going to be out. Thankfully. And now Giolito's tired, but that's fine. There's only one more inning left if we can prevent them from getting two runs. Madrigal is out, or three runs. Anderson singles. And Anderson is going to try to steal. And he does. So, one out. Anderson at second. Robert up. And Robert strikes out. And that brings up Moncada. And Moncada hits a single. Will it score Anderson? I'm going to send him even at 65%. And it works. We get another run. So now we have a four-run lead. 
And they bring in Harper to pitch, and that's a strikeout. So, um, I guess I'm going to go to the bullpen. And we will bring in Cordero. Jimmy Cordero. He gets a ground ball by Sano. Uh, Buxton is going to be pitched hit for by Alex Avila, and he strikes out, so there's two down. And Gonzalez up. And they're going to pitch hit Adrianza for him. And that's going to be an out, and we win our second game of the three against the Twins. Couldn't win the three, though. We were ahead, and we had a chance. You know, we could have been ahead of them, but we did cut the deficit that we had to the Twins. As you can see, um, league stats, we are now one game behind the Twins, having taken two out of three from them. So that's good. And that's also it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.